Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Pokemon Ash Gray. There's a couple over here. What you guys up to? We're sharing notes. My boyfriend is really smart. Is he? We're gonna have an exam soon, so my girlfriend and I are Q-boning it up. Q-boning up. Cubboning up. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't know. Uh, that's not something I'm familiar with. Let's check out the school. Taking a midterm exam, it's really tough. Yeah? Advanced Pokemon Trainer's exam. Want to take it? Sure. Ratata, Raticate, Pikachu, and Raichu are the only Kanto Pokemon with the species name of Mouse. In Kanto? I think. Metapod Kakuna are the only bug type Kanto Pokemon that can learn the move Harden. Again, we're talking Kanto. I don't know bugs very well. I'm gonna say yes. Pokemon that has been burned will have its base attack power reduced by 50%. No, I don't think so. Better not. That'd suck. A Premier Ball enhances the user's chances of catching Pokemon with high catch rates. I don't think so. I think it's just a regular Pokeball, it's just fancier. When held by a Pokemon, the Shell Bell will restore HP whenever Pokemon deals damage. No. The Shell Bell will re restore HP every turn. Not whenever the Pokemon deals damage. Exam not complete, your score is 20%. Wow, okay. Sure. I guess no. Yes. 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 60%. What? Yes. 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 And yes. 40%. So, two of the five. Are true. So I'm gonna say no, so that's false. True. False. True. False. That was bad. So let's go true. False. True. False, true. 80%. We passed. Okay, great. Now what? I'm the top student in the most beginning. Wow, okay. I'm the top student in the beginning class of the most exclusive prep school in the world. People call me a star, but I'm just Giselle. With my level of education, there's no doubt I'm better than you. Oh boy. Hello, Giselle. Cubone! Level 20 against a Sand Shrew, level 19. Start with Rock Tomb. Okay then, but I slowed him down and that's all we were trying to do. Eh, headbutt's not a problem. Go for Scratch. There you go, look at that. A great crit. Yeah, Sandshrew's probably toast, but that's okay. Huh. Tail whip. Okay. Another tail whip. Oh, boy. She's going for the throat. Oh, man. I really have kind of lost my knowledge about Pokemon over the years, haven't I? I really have, like, stopped doing Pokemon since before Diamond and Pearl, I stopped playing Pokemon, so I think it's fair to say I'm a little bit out of shape when it comes to Pokemon knowledge, which is kind of sad, but it's okay, whatever. All right, 
Sandshrew got the win there, which is really unexpected, but hey, Giselle choked, so great. There's some things you just can't learn in school, and that's a good lesson. Blackboard lists Pokemon status problems during battles. Burn. Burn uses attack power. It also causes ongoing HP loss. Huh. Sleep. Can't attack if it's asleep. Stay asleep after battles. Poison. Health steadily drops. So poison seems like it's weaker. Paralysis. Reduces speed. It may paralyze. Freeze. Helplessly immobile. Stays frozen after the battle ends. So burn almost sounds like one of the most powerful ones, actually. Reduces attack power. I was not aware of that. Huh. Very cool. Oh, you passed the test my student was taking. You are very good. I just took it several times and just guessed. It worked. You're very good, aren't you? Here, take this as a reward. Teachy TV. Huh. Teachy TV will show you how to do a lot of things. It's a great teaching tool. Is it? Television set that's tuned to a program with useful tips for novice trainers. Uh, okay. I think I broke the game. Huh. Okay. Let's try that again. Go ahead and talk to you, talk to you. Great. Um. So false. True. No, it was the other way. That's okay. True. 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 Okay, other way. True. I want to say this one is true too. So then true. False true. No, I was wrong. So true. False. True. Dang it, I got mixed up again. You have to start with false. Ah. Yes. False. True. That is true. True. So it's false, true, false, true, this is false. What? We'll just do it the same way we did it last time. I feel like we just completely screwed up. True. False. True. False. How do we get 80% last time? There it is. Okay, so you have to start with true. So don't use Teachy TV because it's it's broken. Got it. I had a really hard time doing the Pokemon school thing. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Bring it back. Since we already are just doing this. Okay. Ivysaur, you're going first. There we go. That'll make this so much faster. There we go. So far, that's really the only bug we've encountered so far is Teach TV. So, not so bad, I guess. For a bootleg, it's not so bad. That's eh, a good Vine Whip. Tail Whip, huh? It's only gonna do so much. Vine Whip. One more Vine Whip ought to have this done. Oh, you got Tail Whip and you have Leer? Boy, that's worthless. Oh! Ho-ho! Good jukes. Get the tackle. GG, Cubone. Didn't even hurt us. So much easier than using Sandshrew. 
That was a big level. I, I skipped over it too fast. That was lots of threes and twos. Very good level. All right. Go ahead and talk to you and talk to you. Great. And I think we're done up here. Finally. <laughs> I'll have to come back through here later to catch Pokemon, though. Well, you know what? We're, we're going to dedicate this episode to this route. Actually, we're going to double check this, this real quick. No, still nothing. Okay. I don't know how we get back there. We're going to dedicate this episode to Route 20 in the school. So, maybe we can find some good Pokemon up here to catch. Oddish. I think we already have Oddish. Yeah, we do. I'll give it a good tackle. Yeah, Poison Powder won't help you there, Oddish. Another good tackle. Sweet Scent. Yeah, that'll help you. You're not accomplishing anything, but I mean, by all means, give it another shot. So, what I'm hoping to find is Bellsprout, for one, and Abra. But I don't know if Abra will exist here. Will it exist in this game, in this location? I don't know. Or Bellsprout, for that matter. Hidden Village has Bellsprout. But there is no... There's no equivalent to Bulbapedia for Ash Gray. There's Abra. We are going to take Abra. Absolutely. And I'm sorry to say, we might have to use a safe state to do it. No? Okay, Sleep Powder worked. Great. Fantastic. I don't want to use a safe state, but Abra appears to be fairly rare. So, we, we have to catch him. Like, I, I personally love Abra so much, I, I need to catch Abra. <laughs> so... We're gonna give it our best bet. Awesome! Didn't even need a save state. What am I saying? It's like, we might have to use a save state. I say that, like, I don't know, the past three episodes I've said it at least once. And every time we've not needed a save state. How lucky. It sleeps for 18 hours a day. It uses a variety of extrasensory powers even while asleep. Nope. I am excited for Abra. That is going to take place in our party. I think we're going to have to dump Jigglypuff. Which is kind of sad, because Jigglypuff's like way, way beefier than anyone else on, in our party. Like significantly strong, or significantly more HP. Not necessarily stronger, just more HP. But... Kadabra, Alakazam? I mean, we need those guys. Sleep Powder? Yes. Good hit, Ivysaur. See if we can take Abra out here. Go for a Vine Whip! To the face! Very well done. Alright. Let's go jump down and grab the... the Abra. That is just such a... Really, that's the only Pokemon I was trying to catch. So we'll go ahead and advance the the game. Was gonna just go ahead and avoid the route, or was gonna just go ahead and avoid going south. But you know what? All I was looking for is Abra, and I wasn't sure if Abra was there. And what do you know? We have Abra. So we're gonna take Abra, and we're gonna replace Jigglypuff. We're picking Jigglypuff here because Jigglypuff is the weakest late game Pokemon that we have right now that's not Pikachu. So. Sorry, Jigglypuff. Really sad, because Jigglypuff, I mean, look at that, 73 HP. But the rest of her stats are not great. I mean, honestly, they're not. Beedrill has a lot of special defense. Huh. Not aware of that. Anywho, no items on anybody in here? Just double check. No items. Fantastic. 
And thus, the training of Abra begins. 25 HP at level 9. That's not great. Jolly nature. Wow. Horrible defense and special defense. But amazing special attack already. Inner focus prevents flinching. Cool. And you have teleport. Which could be useful in a pinch. So let's go check out... Let's go check out what's to the south. We're gonna have to pass through Celadon City? Or can we make a stop in Celadon City? I wonder. Also, where's Charmander and Squirtle? I don't remember if, when we get those. We might, I hope so. Dang it. <laughs> I just did that. Why? Ah. Uh, there we go. Okay, try again. This time, don't follow the road. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was just my bad. Okay, let's go this way. Big open space. Okay, there's the hidden village. What in the world? Uh-huh. Okay, then. Hey, Charmander! What's up? It's a Charmander, but it refused to battle. Maybe it has a trainer. We're gonna have to come back and check out Charmander later. Let's see. There's a Pokemon Center. Okay. Great, great. What? Oh boy, what just happened? Oh my god. The Squirtles. The Squirtle appears to be the gang leader. It's staring intensely into your eyes if it, as if it wants to battle. Okay. Hold it right there. No, I want a Squirtle. No! Officer Jenny, darn you. Are you all right? Have you been hurt here? That Pokemon gang calls itself the Squirtle Squad. They're all Squirtles who were deserted by their Pokemon trainers. They don't have a trainer, so they just run wild and play tricks on the whole town. It's really kind of sad, because if they had somebody to care about them, they wouldn't have turned out to be as bad as they are. Please keep an eye out and be careful. If you see them again, let me know. Yeah, but now I have to go this way. Apparently we're in the Squirtle Squad region. Oh, what's this? Fishing Guru! Yay! Yes, I love to fish. Thank you with an old rod. Please, please? Yay, old rod. Awesome. Fishing is a way of life. It's like the finest poetry. And the seas, rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. Oh, I will. I'm going to do it right here. And I'm going to get the biggest one of them all. Use the old rod. Let us capture the strongest Pokemon in the entire game. Oh, come on. Not even a nibble. Come on, Old Rod. Work it. All right. Pokemon's on the hook. There it is. The strongest Pokemon in the entire game. Magic Heart. Okay, we're going to do Ivysaur here. We're going to Leech Seed, and then Sleep Powder. And that'll weaken the Magikarp to the point where we can hopefully get something out of it. So Leech Seed. Beautiful. Let's do this in one ball. One Pokeball is all we need. So we're kind of in an interesting situation here. We need to train Abra to make Kadabra. And we need to train Magikarp to make Gyarados. So we're kind of in a tough situation. And I'm not sure which Pokemon we're going to end up keeping here. Like, do we dump Pidgeotto? Because let's, let's be honest. Let's look at our Pokemon real quick. Okay. Nidorina can become Nidoqueen. Fantastic. Sandshrew becomes Sandslash. Pretty good. Both of them have ground as a type. 
So I think we'll keep Nita Queen over Sand Slash, but we'll make Sand Slash first. We'll, we'll get Sand Shrew to Sand Slash, and then we'll dump Sand Slash in favor of Gyarados. And then we dump Pidgeotto in favor of Charmander. But then we still have Squirtle. And we have to have a Psychic type. Personally, I, I just, I really want Kadabra. Although, if I can't get Alakazam, we'll have to dump Abra and Kadabra and go for Blastoise. But then why would you need Gyarados? You see the dilemma I'm in? All these Pokemon that I want because they're all so good. A terrible dilemma. But it feels good, though. Like, we finally have access to strong Pokemon. We did not have access to before. Would have, ni would have been nice to have these strong Pokemon to go against Misty or Brock. Either one, really. Magikarp. It's virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world. That becomes basically a dragon. <laughs> Okay, so for now, we're only going to train Abra, so we're not going to grab Magikarp yet. In fact, I'm going to spend most of my time training Magikarp probably off camera, because it's going to be boring, but we'll get there. Hi, came to spawn a fish, but I need a break. How about you? Thanks, I guess. Freshwater pond. Open to all fishing, no swimming allowed. Alright. What is this? Diglett's cave? Uh, it does it not have a name? Route 5. Mysterious tunnel. I don't know where we are. I am so lost right now. Let's go this way. Hang on. Where's the wall? Hug the wall. Okay. Oh, there are Pokemon in here. Wasn't sure. We hadn't encountered anything for a while. Hey, Zubat. Oh my, level 16. That's stronger than I was expecting. Pikachu, you might have to take point. We'll see. We are lost. That's not going to go well. Okay, good static. Very useful. Go for the Thundershock. Alright. Zubat down. See how Abra does. How's how you feeling, Abra? It helped a little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Hi! Boo! Yeah, you definitely surprised me. I didn't know you were there. Camper Jeff with a Spiro. All right. You know what we can use against a Spiro? A Sand Shrew. Sand Shrew will hold his own just fine. In fact, Growl won't even matter. Rock Tomb, I think, is a special attack. Okay. One more rock, two more ought to do it. There it is. Now, is it enough? It is. Oh, it's a crit. Of course it's enough. Well done, Sand Shrew. All right, Abra's level 10. Three more special attack. Very good. Radicate. Oh, our very first Radicate. Okay, Abra, you're up first. They're going to switch to Nidorina. Oh, man. That's Eradicate. All right. Nidorina, use your Poison Point. Poison Point and Protect ought to bring us through here. Oh! That Hyper Fang, though. Give it a double kick. Okay, it's good damage. I'm not worried about Tail Whip. Tail Whip's not a thing. 
not going to be enough. Uh, scratch. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, Nidorina is still up. Okay. Abra is level 11. Good. Nidorina has got the experience. All right, Jeff, good job. No, you didn't really scare me, but... Your Pokemon are scary good. Yeah, I bet they are. What's this way? Okay, this is just more of the same. Gotcha. All right, well... I don't know what this tunnel is. Like, the old Mount Moon and the old uh, rock tunnel, I have those memorized, like, on layout. I know where everything is. I played it so much. But all these places are so different. I don't know, man. This is, this is tough. Come on, Pikachu. Do your stuff. Pikachu! Wow! Holy crap, Pikachu. Just commit suicide or something. Wasn't saying to do it literally. Okay, now we have to have something else to go against Zubats. Sandshrew? Does your rock tomb affect these guys? Yes, but it's not quite as good, but it works. All right, well. That'll probably do it for this episode, guys. We're going to try and figure out a way through this pitch black place that I i don't know what it's called. We're going to do our best. So remember, guys, if you liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, share with your friends. As always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. DFTBA.